A frigid Allison Struve <laughs> is helping you do it safely. Good morning, Allison. Hey, good morning. That's right. We haven't taken off yet because it's cold, and I don't have a face mask, so you know I'm delicate. I, <laughs> you have to be a hardy type <laughs> to be out snowmobiling in this kind of weather. But we're learning all about uh, those good safety reminders that you need to know if you're going to be heading out. We're with Jeremy Cords, who's a recreational safety warden with the DNR. Good morning. Good morning, Allison. Snowmobiling is huge in Wisconsin. Yes, it is. And it's a it's a fun family sport, right? Yes, it is, and it, traditionally it has been. And uh, you know, you'll see over the last probably 15 years, it went from a little bit less than 200,000 snowmobile registrations to now more than 250,000 snowmobile registrations. Right, and it's important for people to remember that it's also very dangerous. It, it can is. be. It can be dangerous, and that's what really what we're wanting to talk about today. And well every time we see snow in the winter is mm -hmm. safety mm -hmm. and getting people involved in being safe all the time especially when they're on snowmobiles. Now unfortunately we hear every winter about um, people dying in snowmobile crashes. Do you know where we're at so far this winter? So far this winter we're at five fatalities statewide for snowmobiles. Last year at this time we were at four. Okay what usually contributes? What causes those the accidents? Main, the main three contributing factors are speed, alcohol, in nighttime, operating at night. Okay, so people going too fast when they're out at night especially? Well, people going too fast, and when you mix that with alcohol, you get uh, perceived, or the perception is maybe mm -hmm. you're invincible, your reaction time is cut down, uh, you're driving on or operating on alongside the roadway on a route or on a trail, there's bumps, uh, there's areas where you can't see around corners, uh, you might have wildlife out there, you might have other people on the trail, you might have snow dust. There's a lot of factors that are yeah. working against you. Not you know, not only that you're on a beautiful machine that can go very fast in a very short amount of time, but uh, maybe that that machine or that that person isn't at that stage where they can operate it to the right. best of their ability. You need really good reaction time to be going fast on a snowmobile. You do, you know, and, and Wisconsin has a nighttime speed limit right now in effect at 55 miles an hour until mm -hmm. uh, June of this year, 2010. Okay. Uh, so daytime there is no speed limit unless you're operating on the route where there is a assigned speed limit. But if you get out on an open field or an open uh, lake, you can open it up and that's fine as long as you're being safe. Okay. Now a lot of things that can help our snowmobile safety classes, and Jeremy just told me how to start this. <laughs> so that's uh, one thing you would learn. How about press that? There you go. So we might take off, we might go inside and hide. But either way, we'll check with you later with more ideas. <laughs> All right, thanks, Allison.